Welcome back. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'm glad to have all that lettering done on this. That's the toughest part on this painting is all the special lettering in here. Love is more precious than gold was a line from the song in Gina's nephew's wedding. And so she wanted me to incorporate that into the painting. Also, then Brandon and Christy, and I'm not sure how to pronounce their last name, Jabot, Jab Jabot, I think, and then the wedding date, August 4th, 2018. So, got all that done. Now I'm going to work on the delphiniums right here. For these, I'm using mixtures of, this is cobalt blue plus a little bit of white. And then I also have a mixture of ultramarine blue plus white. She wanted these all flowers to be blue. So I'm using different combinations in here just to give some interest in the blues. Cobalt blue is just a little bit, a little different color. I use this a lot for my blue bonnets. don't want the flowers. I want a little open space here so that the viewer can walk through here to go down to the, the archway. So I don't want my flowers to cross over that. I make my paintings so that the person looking at them can visually walk through the painting in their mind. They can go sit in those chairs. They can walk down under that archway, go look out at the, the water down there and just walk through the paintings. Jack used to call that walkability or wanderability. And so that's that's what I try to do in my paintings. You want the, the paintings to be able, the viewer to be able to get involved in the painting and just place themselves there. And I found if I put people in the paintings then that that keeps the viewer from going into it. So I don't I don't put people in the paintings unless I'm doing a portrait or somebody just specifically asks it's a commission. But for my gallery paintings I do not put people in them because it it we've just found that that doesn't work. It doesn't sell. And if you're going to make a living as an artist you've got to do paintings that are going to sell. And that's just a fact of life. Paintings don't sell, you don't eat. So now I've got the, the delphiniums blocked in. Let me go around the, the side of the canvas here. This is on a gallery wrap canvas, so the image goes all the way around the side of the canvas. And so I just pick up different blues on my brush, and that gives us some variety in there. Makes it interesting. If it's all the same blue, then it just is not very interesting. And if you look at flowers, pink flowers, there's all kinds of different shades in there. So it's not, flowers are not all the same shade and value. And so we have lots of different colors in here. Now I'm just blocking these in. I'll have to come back and do more work on them, but this, this is getting the the blue color blocked in. So now I'm going to start working on the leaves. The leaves are mixes of phthalo blue plus lemon yellow. That's a more intense green than anything I've used so far in the painting, so it will come forward. I have to carefully work around my blues with a little bit smaller brush. I painted the blues first so that those colors would remain nice and crisp. If I painted the green first, then when I painted, you can see how my brush picks up some of that blue. Well, if I painted the green first and then I tried to paint the blue, my brush would pick up the green and make my blues muddy. 
doesn't matter if the greens get a little muted, but I want my blues to stay nice and intense. Around the darker blossoms, I'm using lighter greens. And then around the lighter blossoms, I'll use some of my darker green. I'm going to have a leaf come down. Don't want it to get over my lettering, but just have it come down over the edge of the container here. These are old wine barrel containers. And then I will have some of these leaves, these leaves breaking out. But again, I don't want them to just come all the way out into the walkway. I want to leave a little room there. Now, I've saved my floor color, so I can just come back in here and add a little bit of that in there. Make some openings in that, in those leaves. Exactly happy with the shape of that one. I'm going to, yeah, that's good. Now I have also saved some of my green from my grass, so I can also bring some of that in here. A little light in behind here. also around my flowers. In fact, I'm going to take this dark green out right there. So I can save my oil colors on the palette for, oh, two, three days. And if you dig down, you probably can even, underneath it, get even more than that. But that's about all I need to finish a painting. And if you want to keep your colors good longer, you can Put them on the sides of a little plastic yogurt cup and stick them in the refrigerator and they'll last longer. I think I've shown you that in one of my other videos. And this just gives us some space within those flowers. I, I have to carefully lay this when I'm doing these colors over my blues. I have to just lay the paint on there. I can't dig down because it mixes the into that blue and it makes my color muddy. I'm coming back here with some phthalo blue plus liquid. Just adding some darks in the foliage. And that gives you a nice cool dark. And then this is phthalo blue plus some white. Again, just add a little variation within the foliage. It's a matter of just working back and forth. Come around on this other side and put some of my greens in here. come down further here since I don't have any lettering to worry about. If you want to see how this whole painting went together, visit my blog. I show the complete step-by-step -step process from start to finish and that gives you a uh, complete picture of how the painting was done. 
the link is in the description below. It's also, I have the address on the final frame of my video. And you can subscribe to my blog, and that way you'll get an email every time I make a post. So that, that makes it really easy for you. Now these delphiniums have long kind of stalks going up. going to do it on all of them, but some of them have little seed stalks and some of them don't. I don't want to go up in front of my wagon wheel back there. I want to leave a want to be able to see that. That's important to the painting. I've got a spot I need to cover here. Now I'm going to let this be some of my wine barrel color. And again I've saved that color darker under these leaves. Now I need to add a little bit of white into my whitest green here. I'm adding white and lemon yellow. Still get this a nice rich color by adding some more lemon yellow in there too. Just gives us a little highlight on our leaves. More dimension in the, the foliage. Now, as we go up the little stalks, the little flower buds, actually they're buds, they're not seeds. But I guess after the flowers bloom then and dry out, then they do become seeds. But this is, these are our little buds on the flowers. That needs to be even lighter. So I want to show this. I want this to extend up in front of that shadow. So I want it light. That just helps give the feeling of depth when you break across like a shadow like that or objects, then that helps give the feeling of distance in your painting. Just get some different little stalks in here. I want this one a little bit darker. Now I'm going to bring a lighter one from this flower here. helps add some depth into the flowers. And there's going to be a little one here. I'm not going to worry about the on the side there. I want to show you. Then I come back and then I start adding some more of my flowers. Now here I have to just gently lay the color on top of the that underlying color. And I use thick brush strokes. And you can see how I do this.
so we just get different I'm using again different blues I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you just have a wonderful, wonderful day. I just, it's so wonderful having you ask me questions, so always feel free. And I just realized I still need to add the little centers in these. Use a little magenta plus liquid, and that will then let me show you how I do that, and that'll give you an idea of that. This again is magenta plus liquid, and I just add the little deep centers within these, and I add a few little extra strokes here and there. just helps give the feeling of the shape of those flowers. I'm not rendering the flowers exactly. These are very impressionistic, but that's, that adds to the charm. I'll go ahead and do this on the rest of the flowers, but I just wanted to show you that. So you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and thank you again.